Malawi's President Peter Mutarika plans to appeal a court ruling nullifying his most recent election victory. Mutarika argues that the verdict cannot be allowed to stand as it will create a lot of problems. The country's constitutional court annulled last year's election citing irregularities. It's called for fresh polls to be held in five months. Let's talk about this now and we're joined online by the opposition UTM leader, Saulus Chilima. Mr. Chilima, a very good evening to you. Thank you for being on Nightline. So, firstly, your reaction to the president's decision to appeal this outcome? Well, I mean, there's nothing wrong. He can appeal, it's his right to do so, and uh, uh, once we are saved with the relevant paperwork, our lawyers will, will tell our story. Uh, we don't have the clearest line to you, Mr. Chilima, but I do want to persist just a moment longer because the spokesperson for the presidency is quoted today describing the court ruling itself as a miscarriage of justice. Is that, in your view, while you think the president has a right to appeal, is that an accurate characterization? Well, <laughs> um, I, I'm, I'm not a lawyer myself, uh, and I'm not trying to be one anytime soon, but uh, look, what what we we know uh, from um, uh, the the process that we went through between uh, the time that we went to court and now, which is August, until when judgment was passed, was uh, petitions that are brought to court under Section 100 uh, appellable to the Supreme Court. So I, I would like to believe that uh, you know if there is any technicalities, the the legal minds will deal with that, but. As far as I can you know, comment from a layman's perspective is that he has the right to appeal, so let, let's uh, leave it at that for, for, for the moment. Your thoughts then on the court saying that the Electoral Commission Parliament should consider essentially getting rid of the officials who oversaw the election, especially the management of Malawi's Electoral Commission. Is that the right decision? And is it likely to happen? Well, I mean, if, if, the, if their conduct has been found wanting, they should uh, certainly step, step down. I mean, what is the point of uh, them staying on when they, they uh, had uh, uh, an illegal uh, election? They managed an illegal election. So, uh, and, and I think uh, it's on the right that uh, they must step down. I mean, they, 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 they were certainly found to be incompetent, and uh, uh, we, we hope they do that. I mean, if they don't, obviously, then... Uh, people uh, continue to demand that uh, they must uh, step aside. Okay, we tried to persist, Mr. Chilima, but I'm afraid we actually can't make out much of what you're hearing because of the quality of that line. My apologies both to you and our viewers tonight. Hopefully we can uh, try to have this conversation on a day when we have a clearer connection to you so we get just the very best or the quality out of this conversation. But Nightline does continue shortly. Still to come, the city of Johannesburg is waging a war on potholes. And that will not come cheap. We'll tell you more in a moment. Thank you.